So when a bunch of pages that I either own or manage started getting suspended, I was really frustrated. Then I thought, is there something wrong with my account? What the heck is going on? But over time, I realized that Google is actually doing something very, very helpful to the community that uses their search engine, that uses Google business pages in order to figure out where to go ahead and spend their money, where to get services from, where to get goods from. And what they're doing is any type of business that they think may be suspicious or the Google algorithm sees as something weird is happening, they go ahead and they suspend it and they put it on you as the business owner to go ahead and prove to them that, wait, no, this is a legitimate page. I am the legitimate owner of the business. Here's a storefront or here's proof of documentation that I am an LLC or whatever you are claiming to be. And this is really important because there's so many scams out there. Scams are at an all time high and there's a lot of business businesses that simply don't operate anymore. There's a lot of multiple listings. And so Google is trying to declutter all this. So speaking to my colleagues in the SEO space, taking a look at what's been happening with my customers, just problem solving over the past couple of years, this has been the main reasons why Google business profiles have been suspended. The first is multiple pages create. So there's multiple Google business profiles for the same business, especially if this was done because one page had bad reviews. So the owner went and opened up a new page to try and get good reviews and eclipse the bad reviews page. You never ever want to do that. And Google frowns upon that. And so they go ahead and they suspend the page. Another reason is going to be littering the actual name of the business with keywords. So for instance, if you're a law firm that is called Jackson Law. Instead of saying Jackson Law, you say best lawyer in Manhattan, Jackson Law, so that you can rank for the words best lawyer or something like that. They're going to go ahead and Google is going to suspend your page or they're going to make you want to prove that you're actually a legitimate business name that's with the state called best lawyer in Manhattan, Jackson Law. If that's your LLC, they might actually approve it and release that. Now, the other one is business address in a residential area. When you choose your business address, you better make sure that you could prove to Google that you see clients or patients or whatever type of business or service you are, that you see clients, customers, patients at that exact location. You better make sure that if Google asks for it, you can snap a picture showing signage of your business and the fact that you see big people at this place. And a lot of this is happening, I find, with residential areas. If I go and I file a page and it's in a building that has a lot of other businesses or it is in a business district and not some residential road, then I don't find that Google suspends them quite as much. So that might be another reason. You have a legitimate business, but it's in a residential area. So Google suspends it and they say, prove that you actually see people at this location. Now, the other one actually is that the business address is the same as many other pages. There are some serial entrepreneurs that just have hobbies on the side and they go ahead and they create business pages for all of these hobbies. So if you go ahead and list five different businesses at that same exact address, that's suspicious to Google and they will most likely, based on my experience, suspend it. Now, another one is there's way too many business categories that you've listed. It's jumbled. It's way too many. You want to be very, very specific on Google business pages. So I recommend just sticking to the core service that you do. That should be your category. Another one that I found is that the owner's account is simply shady or they've been involved in some weird things with any of the other Google platforms. And I sometimes find that with clients who've engaged in weird stuff, whether it's, you know, conspiracies and their YouTube channels were locked or something like that, that their Google business profiles can get affected sometimes if it's set up on the same account. And especially if you've been proven to set up a fake business profile or an illegitimate business profile, or especially if you had illegal or prohibited stuff on your Google business profile, Google will go ahead and more likely than not suspend the new page that you create because you're probably already flagged in the system. Again, all of these is just 
based on my opinion. I don't work for Google. I have nothing that I'm trying to sell you. I'm just trying to help you out because it's been really, really frustrating for me. And I feel like there's not always answers in the community help forums that they have. And so as I go through this list, if you have something else to add, please mention in the comment section so that we can all kind of learn from this and grow together and just stay up to date on the happenings. And maybe you find better solutions or maybe you find a reason that I haven't yet listed. So another reason I found is offensive or threatening language. And this happens a lot. You know, actually, sometimes when you leave a review on someone's business, even if you say something like, this business helped me make a killing. I really like this marketing firm, blah, blah, blah. Just because you said killing, Google won't even involve that review and let others see it. So they kind of like shadow ban the review. So if your business has offensive or threatening language, Google is most certainly going to suspend it. They also have some policies as far as sexual businesses go. So I'll let you guys read through the guidelines. I don't want to get into the nitty and gritty of it. And one more I want to point out, if you have a service area business, so for instance, I'm a photographer videographer during the nighttime. I do engagement photos, I do parties. So I service certain areas in North Jersey and New York. However, I don't see clients at home or at my home office for this business. That being said, if I went ahead and I created a nighttime photography business in North Jersey, and then to grab more clients, I went ahead and created another one in the Manhattan area, and let's say another one in Central Jersey, and try to game the system that way, because obviously my North Jersey nighttime photography business, it's not gonna show in Central Jersey, and more likely not gonna show in the New York City area where business can be quite good. And so what I would do is I would create multiple pages like that, but Google frowns upon that, and I'm telling you, if you have a service area business only do one business profile for it. So to go ahead and be helpful, I went ahead and linked a couple of helpful resources to guide you guys through your suspended business profile on Google and hopefully reinstate it. So the first is the guidelines for representing your business on Google. This is a very, very helpful guide and you can go ahead, skim through this. And if you feel like there is something here that is probably causing your issue, I would go ahead and I would read very in depth and pay attention to every sentence and every policy that they mention here. The second resource is going to be a video directly from the Google Business Profile YouTube page, and you'll be able to see exactly how to go ahead and file the reinstatement form. Over here, I have a troubleshooter. What this is going to do is you're going to answer some simple questions, and based on how you answer the question, they're either going to give you a guide to read through, or they'll go ahead and send you to the reinstatement request form. And so very lastly, I linked a Google reinstatement request form, and you're simply going to go ahead and fill it out like any other document. They're going to ask you to attach some helpful proofs. So right here, you see that they find these to be legit proofs of your business, which is a business registration license displaying the business name and address that matches the listing you are appealing for. And accepted documents include official business registration, business license, or tax certificates, and also a utility bill displaying the same business name and address as your registration license. Utilities may include any of the following, electricity, phone, gas, water, sewage, trash, recycling, TV, and internet. And this is going to be really, really helpful. Once you submit these, hopefully your business page will be reinstated and you will be able to do business as usual. So with that being said, please check out the links in the description. Again, I'm not selling you anything. There's no affiliate links. What I really want to do is help people, but also stay up to date and learn from people because there's a lot of smart people out there and they probably found other reasons for why their business pages are suspended. I'd love to hear about it. I'd also like to hear if you've had an ongoing issue and your page stayed suspended, even though you went ahead and did nothing, because honestly, there's been a lot of situations and times when I had one of my clients pages suspended or my own page suspended and then I file a reinstatement request and they say, oh, sorry, that was a mistake on our end. We went ahead and reinstated the page. So they do this a lot because the Google algorithm, Google system, it goes ahead and it suspends the pages. I doubt it's actual people sitting there going through businesses and suspending them. It's something to do with the algorithm because you might have noticed and one of the reasons you're watching this video is you might have a new business and you file 
filed for a postcard to be sent to your home. And as soon as you punch in the postcard to verify the business, your business went ahead and got suspended, which is crazy because you're like, what? I just went ahead and proved that this is the physical address that I could receive mail and I input the postcard and then boom, your page is locked and suspended and that sucks. So what do you do in that situation? Well, in that situation, you just have to start the back and forth with Google and you do that by filing a ticket with them or using the reinstatement form, which is linked in the description below. Once you submit it, you'll usually get some sort of email and then you'll actually get a follow up from the Google teams in the coming days. Now, some tips to help you avoid the back and forth is just already have a clear picture uploaded of the signage of the building. Or if you have an office within a business complex type building, then simply take a picture of the directory that has your name and the business right there and is showing up and is consistent with the business information that you listed on your profile. Google sees that. They take a look at the cover photos. They take a look at the photos in there. They even take a look at websites. So if you have a website, it's definitely going to be helpful to go ahead and show signage of the business on your website. And also, I believe that they run a check. So when people get involved and they have certain teams, certain reps that go and check if the business is actually legitimate, they go ahead and they Google your business. And obviously, if they can see LLC information from the state or they see you're in the news or you have like huge followings and huge business dealings everywhere online, they'll probably go ahead and reinstate the page and say, hey, thanks for the reinstatement form. We've went ahead and reinstated your page. It was a mistake on our end. The absolute last thing that I would like to add is that Google provides Google Business Profile for us business owners to use for free, which is amazing. And although I know sometimes it's unfair, like my page got suspended, but my competitor's page didn't get suspended. How's that any fair? They're getting a leg up while no one could see my business and I gotta have this back and forth and Google doesn't respond right away, yada, yada. Just remember, they're inundated with a lot of tickets, with a lot of issues. I've recently spoken with a rep from them that actually called me because of an issue I was having and I specifically asked and they said that they are swamped right now and they're sometimes delayed in responding because they're inundated with so much of these tickets so much glitches and so just keep it in perspective that Google provides this Google business profile platform for free for us to use they will get back to you it's people working there they're not maliciously trying to ruin your business I would say regardless of what rep you get that's dealing with your issue sometimes they might not be the brightest tool in the shed stay very polite don't curse anyone off don't be rude to anyone just keep explaining your situation and keep trying to get your business reinstated most of the time it's a very seamless process where you fill out that form and within 24 to 48 hours they write you back and you're good to go so please share with me if i left out a reason for why a page gets suspended share with me your situation in the comment section if you have a business that's been suspended and google simply isn't responding or even something crazier is happening I'd love to learn from the rest of you. This is how I feed myself during the daytime with all this web development work. And I'm heavy into entrepreneurship. I have an MBA and I've been building out websites and setting up businesses for myself and for other people for nearly a decade now. And me personally, I'm really grateful to the platform. And so I wanted to just put out a video explaining some of the reasons for why your business page might be suspended and to reassure you that it's okay. It's not like a suspended driver's license. You're going to get through it. They might make you jump through a few hoops, but at the end of that, you will be able to go ahead and do business as usual, hopefully, and with a nice online presence and everything else, you'll hopefully get ahead of the competition. You'll start getting buzzed with some calls and some inquiries to go ahead and pad your bank account with some new customers, new clients. I really appreciate you guys sticking around for the entirety of this video. Your patience is better than mine. And so I super appreciate you and I wish you nothing but success. I hope your business thrives. I hope your mental health is great. And I just wish you guys a lot of prosperity. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Also, let me know which industry you're in, what type of business you're running and let me know if I missed anything. Let's learn together. Let's grow together. 
and let's watch our happiness, not just our bank accounts. Remember, don't be super rude to anyone, not even the Google customer service or just anyone in your life. Be nice to everyone. Be nice to yourself. I'll see you guys in the next video.